Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I am a credit expert who contributes to the Credit Card Insider blog. Today's question is this, how do I rebuild my credit after a bankruptcy? Bankruptcies are by far the most problematic credit entries as they can persist for up to 10 years and they generally not only show up as the court filing of the bankruptcy in the public records section of a credit report, but every account or debt that has been discharged in the bankruptcy also shows up as such on your credit report. So it's not inconceivable for your credit report to have multiple listings uh, indicating bankruptcy as well as the actual public record listing. Bankruptcies, as I mentioned, are allowed to remain on credit reports for up to 10 years from the filing date. And there are generally two types of bankruptcies that consumers file. A Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which sometimes was referred to as a straight bankruptcy, and discharges all statutorily dischargeable debts, like credit card debts and collections. And then there's something referred to as a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, or a wage earner plan, where you're actually making payments to a trustee and the trustee is distributing those payments to your creditors, those generally take longer to discharge. In both cases, a bankruptcy is considered a major derogatory item by both the FICO and Vantage Score credit scoring systems, and as you can imagine, they can have a profound negative impact on your scores. So when you are in the mode of rebuilding or reestablishing credit after a bankruptcy, the first thing that you have to do is be realistic. There is no silver bullet. Nothing is going to turn a credit score of 500 into a credit score of 800 overnight. It's going to take time. Having said that, there are some effective ways to start getting positive information back on your credit reports, even in the wake of a bankruptcy. The first is the authorized user strategy. An authorized user is someone who is listed as a user of the account on the credit card belonging to someone else. So for example, I might be added as an authorized user on my wife's credit card, which means I'll get a card with my name on it, I'll be able to use it, however I will have no liability for the debt or for the payment. The account shows up on my credit reports, even though it's her account, and as long as the account is old, has been paid on time, has a low credit limit, no late payments, then it's actually a good way of getting a positive item back on my credit report after a bankruptcy. Second, and another common way that people generally try to rebuild after a bankruptcy is by opening what's referred to as a secured credit card. A secured card is when someone makes a deposit with a bank and that particular bank issues a credit card with a credit limit equal to the deposit. So I may deposit $250 with a bank and they'll give me a secured credit card with a credit limit of $250. The credit limit is fully secured by my deposit. That's why it's referred to as a secured card. In many cases, secured credit cards are reported to all three of the credit reporting agencies. And again, a very effective way of getting something positive on your credit reports after a bankruptcy. Another strategy that people sometimes employ is something referred to as a credit builder loan. A credit builder loan is a loan issued by a credit union at generally in a very small dollar amount, somewhere in the neighborhood of $500 to $1,000. That money is deposited into an interest-bearing account and you, the borrower, have no access to it until it's completely paid off. You make your payment month after month. Generally, the payback period on credit builder loans is very short, six months to a year, and once it's been paid off, then you'll get access to the funds plus the interest. While you've been making your payments, the credit union will be reporting the on-time activity to the credit reporting agencies. Yet another way of getting positive information back on a credit report after a bankruptcy. And finally, something to take away with from, from this is that time is going to be your best ally. You can put as many positive things back on a credit report after a bankruptcy that you want, but in, until you put some time between yourself and the bankruptcy, your credit scores just simply are not going to improve that much. One year, two years, five years, seven years, even if you do nothing 
your credit scores are going to improve organically simply because you're putting time between yourself and the incident. To learn more about this topic or anything having to do with credit cards or credit rebuilding, please visit the Credit Card Insider blog at creditcardinsider.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.